Hey, hey, the boys are back at it again with a new video. It's been a while since we've posted, however, the wait is over. As with all of our videos, this one is nothing short of what you expect most from us. Cringe, fun, and entertainment. As a disclaimer, do not take us seriously. John, come sit on my lap. Here we go. Triple drop. Let's start. Let me start. It's pending. Bro, I forgot how much I genuinely hate making videos. The four of us will battle each other in Clash of Clans. Whomever loses gets duct taped and tormented. Safely, of course. The idea behind this video idea came from a mix of suggestions in the comments and our combined brain power. Continue to provide video suggestions in the comments section and we will consider your ideas for future videos. On to the video. We're just gonna watch some noobs and just see all of like the stupid mistakes they do. So if you're salty and if for some reason you're gonna get offended by this, then I don't really know what to tell you. Knight in the middle, skeleton army in the middle, so far, not too bad. Wanna scratch my balls? We can't criticize them yet, but let's just wait. I'm sure a bad play is bound to happen somewhere. So let's just see what's gonna happen here. What is he gonna do to stop this giant? Oh wait, just when he thought this battle was good, MDM decides to fireball the King Tower, add 20 tallies onto the counter for that. Look at all of these noob mistakes so far. When I was first watching this battle, I was like, damn, like these players are pretty good. Like they had good pushes, they weren't wasting elixir. But then out of nowhere, they just, they started wasting fireballs. What is going on here? Both of their next cards are fireballs, so this may work out good or it may be trash. Let's see. Okay, is Nidal gonna stop the giant or go for a three crown? Since he's a noob, he's definitely going for the three crown. Oh wait, Goblin Hut. Okay, that definitely caught me off guard. Were you guys surprised? Who knows? <laughs> okay, so MDM just put a spawner where his tower used to be. I've never seen anyone do that before. Like, imagine if someone just put two bomb towers where both their arena towers go. I'm just gonna add one new mistake for that, just because I've never seen it before and it looks super goofy. So I'm pretty sure this battle is about to be over. Honestly, it was probably really cut up because both these players were... They were pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. Minus the fireballs and that weird hut. Besides that, good stuff. Next battle, we have Ilyas versus Miwa underscore and parenthesis. Now the person on the bottom is from a professional clan, so we should expect some good plays out of here. We have Prince on Prince action now. Oh, fireball, oh, he just, he missed the Prince. Okay, we're gonna add one mistake there. Now this person knows they don't have Elixir, so they sent a mini P.E.K.K.A. in. The person on the bottom clearly is a pro, so clan and pro I completely agree with that statement now after seeing those phenomenal plays let's just see how he is gonna counter the giant oh wait he decided to fireball the goblins and totally missed add another mistake to the counter for that one I have no idea what that was and instead of countering this giant he's just gonna let it take out his tower what add three more mistakes for that oh he's going in for a prince push though now this person put a goblin hunt to defend a prince we gotta add another mistake there honestly these people are just doing so many crazy things here we have a three crown race instead of stopping the giant the person decided to put a prince up top i wanna scratch my butt. probably wouldn't have done that but let's just see if this is gonna work out for him i'm pretty sure the giant oh the giant is not gonna get a three crown after all i have a feeling this is gonna be another boring three crown race is a fireball gonna go to the king tower yes it is but since it's kind of weak you know we're not gonna give him a tally for that we'll we'll let that one slip they're just chilling at 10 so I'm pretty sure they're about to get three crown the person sends a fireball in and wait <gasps> What? That was probably the clutchest prince I've ever seen. Lil J starts off with a double Valkyrie mirror and he has the rage spell. We're gonna take him three points for that one. Who the hell uses the rage spell? Better yet, who rages two Valkyries to start a match? Don't know where he gets these strategies from, but right here, I'm pretty sure he's gonna rage these Valkyries. Oh, there are the rages. Now he has to work on countering this giant, but 
He used a giant skeleton to counter the giant, the mini Pekka, or even the witch would have done better than that. He did destroy a tower, but at the same time, I'm pretty sure he's about to lose that tower, and now he uses a mini Pekka on spear goblins. So since that was a god awful giant skeleton, we're gonna give him one ding for that, but his mini Pekka is doing decent though, so, so good job, dude. Oh, Chuo is going for the balloon three crown. Is Lil J gonna stop that? He does have the witch. Oh, expo balloon. There is a giant skeleton on the tower, but look at that. Lil J is just, he's not even bothering to stop and he, he mirrored two Valkyries. Give him five more points for that one. Man, these, these people, I, I don't know where they get it from. He is raging the Valkyries again, but Chuako, whatever his name is, he doesn't care to counter those. He just puts a mini P.E.K.K.A. to go for the three crown and he's still trying to get that three crown. Oh my god, 11 hit points left. What is going on? Who is going to win this battle? <gasps> wow. Okay. Starting it off with a fireball on the arena tower and then archers at the bridge. So those archers weren't necessarily bad. This dude. Wanna scratch my dude mirrored some baby dragons, but let's add five points for that fireball. Honestly, was god awful. Is he gonna use skeletons to counter the baby dragon? Yep. Oh, and then a fireball on the on the king tower. What? At 50 points just for all of these bad plays. I can't even keep up with him anymore. Now he uses a knight to counter the baby dragon, even though it was locked on. Three more points for whatever that was. Yasmin, whatever their name is, is definitely over leveled, so they are flooding Dracula. That is honestly like such a perfect baby dragon. Since that baby dragon was so good, though, let's 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 subtract three points. We'll give him a bit of a break from the over all counter oh god dracula has the fireball again what is he gonna do with this he is going straight for the three crown he doesn't even care about the arena towers he just wants to take Wanna scratch my take care of that king tower and again instead of countering the knight and goblins he just goes straight in with that giant just completely ignoring everything so yasmin has that fireball i thought he was gonna send it in on the giant but instead it looks like they used minions which was definitely a smart play yasmine whatever their name is is still going for the three crown while dracula is just mirroring those baby dragons still yet to destroy a tower will the balloon work out he puts a balloon in the very back the biggest push is approaching who is gonna win let's find out another fireball on the king tower i don't i don't understand that was like the third one of the battle probably even fourth at this point now that balloon was a massive fail instead of it going to the king tower it went straight for the arena tower let's give him a little dink for that maybe just just add five more dings for this overall battle it's pretty bad let's be honest here a defensive balloon just when i thought i've seen it all he comes out with that there's two hit points left on that tower if he cannot win this i'm gonna be extremely disappointed overall this battle it's it's hurt my brain a lot so i think we need to call it quits after this battle because i just i don't think we can take any more but look at that the person up top got really cocky ignored the knight and they ended up losing i'm extremely happy they lost though because they were just spamming fireballs like crazy so like i said that was the final battle of today's video if you want a part two to this weird tv royale thingy just let me know down below if the support's good we'll for sure do another but guys thank you all for watching and peace out